Hello students, welcome to the Fundamental Physics Lab uh, ELIX01 um, Multimeter Series Circuit, Parallel Circuit, and the Ohm's Law. So first of all, what is the Ohm's Law? So the Ohm's Law state that V equals IR, where V is the voltage across an equipment and then I is the current that flows into the equipment and R is the resistance of the equipment. So uh, when you say something follows the Ohm's Law, it means that uh, you have the current as the y-axis and the voltage is the x-axis uh, having a linear relation. This means that the resistance is a constant. So therefore, voltage uh, that's going to be used to drive an equipment is going to be directly proportional to the current uh, that you're actually reading from it. Uh, so if you have a nonlinear relation like this, it means that um, the device is not ohmic device. So um, if you go back here, Ohm's law, in order to determine things in the uh, ohmic circuit, you need to know uh, the voltage and the current. So I'm going to tell you a little bit um, on how to measure the voltage. So in order to measure the voltage, you need to put what you call the voltmeter, which allows you to measure how much voltage is being used in a piece of equipment. So um, the way it works is you need to connect it in parallel with your uh, whatever equipment uh, that you want to measure. So Basically, you just directly put, um, you know, the electrodes on on both sides of the equipment uh, and do it in parallel. However, if you want to measure the current, you need to con connect what you call the amp meter um, as part of the circuit because this is how you measure the current that goes through. So, uh, an amp meter needs to be connected in series uh, in in comparison, in contrast to the voltage uh, from the voltmeter. So from here, if you connect in, in the series, you can see that um, the current would flow through the ammeter itself. That's how you read the, the current. Uh, again, in contrast, if you measure the voltage, you need to connect it um, in parallel. So um, in order to measure the voltage or the, um, or the current, you need what you call the multimeter which is what we are going to be use, uh, using and practicing um, using today. So, um, you know, so first of all, a multimeter, when you first pull it off the bat, um, this little knob right here is going to sit in the off uh, direction. And then uh, the plus side is going to be connected to the red line and, uh, and the mi minus side is going to be connected to the black line. So whenever you use it, be sure to connect the, um, the positive side with the positive side and then, uh, you know, the negative side with the negative side. So um, again, so in order to activate this thing, so the multimeter as the name suggests, it serves multiple function. For example, if you put it here uh, on this orange zone, it measure the alternate current voltage. And if you put it here on this zone, it say DCV. So this is direct current voltage. So uh, by measuring direct current voltage, you can adjust the range. So you can see that it, it offers various range here from uh, 0 0.1 volt maximum to 1000 volt maximum. So whatever number is being displayed here is the maximum number you can read out of the full scale. Okay, so uh, if you put it here, you read the voltage, and if you put it here, you read the current. If you put it here, you read the resistance. So we're gonna go get go ahead and get started with the voltage. So for example, what if I turn this thing to ten volt, and then I have this scale reading. So um, this scale is actually basically the uh, the bar that tells you how much uh, the voltage is being read. So first of all. You need to pay attention that this is 10 volt, which means that if this uh, little rod here goes all the way through, it means uh, the full scale is 10 volts. So, so it starts from zero and it would swing all the way to 10 volts. So um, you must not uh, you must not use uh, the 10 volts to measure anything that is higher than 10 volts. So 10 volts is maximum. So uh, otherwise, you can break the equipment. Okay. So uh, the 10 volts here would tell you that. Um, the maximum voltage you can read from this setup is 10 and which means that you need to look through the scale and you can see that on this scale bar it has so many readings up there so you need to focus on the number that matches with whatever you're reading so for example this is 10 so you find a number 10 or 100 so um so then you read on the scale of 10 not anything else so you read on the scale of 10 to get a 10 volt so the 10 is here and you can see that the scale bar is in the middle which is between four and six. So this means this is five, right? So you can read 5.00 volts, okay? So repeat, um, you see, you determine what's the maximum scale, 
you read it on the scale bar here. And then whatever that scale is, you keep reading until you find a number that you want to read. Uh, so for example, this one set between four and six, so that's five volts. That's pretty straightforward, right? However, if we, if we change the system uh, to 2.5 and then um, connect it to something, then you have this kind of reading, then what's going to happen? Again, 2.5 volts here would determine that um, the maximum voltage you can read is uh, 2.5, but there's not that many 2.5 up here, right? There's 2.5 there. But my general trick to get the max out of it is reading from 250 because uh, 250 is, you know, basically 2.5 multiplied by 100. So if your scale is maximum at 2.5, you can always read 250 and then divide it by uh, 100 and then you get whatever you're reading to be uh, the, the actual number. So for example, right here, we set it at 2.5. And so it means that if it if this thing goes full scale, it would read uh, 2.5 volts. Uh, so for example, you can use the scale here or you can use the scale up here. So uh, in this example, I'm gonna use the scale up here because it's more detailed. So um, I'm gonna choose to use 250 and divide whatever I read by 100, right? Because 250 divided by 100 is 2.5. So from here, you can see that this thing reads um, on the scale of 250, this thing is between 50 and 100, so this reads like 70. So this is 70. However, you can't read 70 out of 2.5, right? So you need to divide it by 100 in order to match the scale. So, uh, so 70 divided by 100 would give you 0 0.7. So 0 0.7 from this reading out of 2.5. Okay, so again, you need to find the scale that matches whatever you're trying to read. All right, so now if we put it on ammeter mode right here, um, the scale here is in milliamp, which means whatever you're reading, you're going to need to divide it by 100. Okay, so this is two point, uh, divided by 1000. Okay, so 2.5 milliamp, 25 milliamp. So I'm looking for 25 milliamp. So what you can do is mark this 25 milliamp. Uh, so that means that if this thing swings to full scale, this is 25 milliamps. So uh, again, I choose to use 250 because it's more detail. And uh, so 250 divided by 10 is going to give you uh, 25, right? So whatever you read here, divided by 10. So from here, you can see that this thing is not quite 50. There's a little bit more there. So 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 this reads like, um, let's say, 47 so if I read this 47 milliamp, uh, so this 47 is out of 250. So uh, to convert that into 25, you need to divide everything by 10. So uh, 70, 47 milliamp divided by 10 is 4.7 milliamp. So from there, you can read this as a current of uh, 4.7 milliamp. Again, in order to do calculation from this, remember this prefix milli means 10 to negative 3. So be sure to divide whatever number you do you have by three uh, by 10 to negative 3. So so um, no, sorry, not divide, multiply by 10 to negative 3. Okay. So whatever you number you're reading here, divided by a thousand, okay? And then you would get the actual SI reading of this ammeter. So the ohmmeter mode. Uh, so when you switch it here, the ohmmeter mode is a little bit unique because if you read the scale, whenever you use the ohmmeter, you always read the topmost scale that says ohm here. It has the, the, the sign ohm here. And when you, you put it on, it would have the multiplication scale. So for example, right now we're on 100. So whatever you're reading on the scale, you multiply that by 100. Okay. So for example here, uh, the ohmmeter would swing from this side to that side. Uh, so uh, again, this is 10, uh, this is 12, right? So 12, 12 ohm. Uh, well, again, you need to multiply it by 100. So since the setup is on 100x and the reading is, you know, 12, so you you read 12 times 100. So this is uh, approximately 1,200 ohms. So uh, again, it depends on where you set it up and uh, how you read it, okay? All right, so next off. The series circuit. Series circuit is when you connect uh, a power supply into the equipment in series. So series mean uh, one thing is going after another. So the thing is, by, by the rule of the uh, conservation of energy, uh, whatever voltage you put here is going to be divided among the, uh, among the resistors. However, 
uh, the current that goes through the entire thing is going to be the same because you know this is like one one single route so this current is going to be all the same uh, throughout the circuit uh, however the voltage is going to be divided so um, if you put in 5 volts here maybe 2.5 split here 2.5 split here and then whenever you try to calculate uh, the total resistance um, you know in a series circuit you just add the two resistor together so the equivalent circuit would be two resistor becoming one and you you get r equivalent equals r1 plus r2 so uh, again series circuit current is the same throughout the circuit so you measure the current only once and uh, the voltage is divided among uh, each different part so uh, this voltage is going to be um, slightly you know different uh, throughout the circuit uh, unlike the current that's the same no matter where you you measure it and then the equivalent resistance is basically the additive of the uh, each different uh, resistor so a uh, parallel circuit is when you connect um, you know the device in parallel and uh, from here, since the current does not form one single loop, but it forms several loops, so uh, the current would be split among the resistor. However, since point A and point B are connected to the same voltage, R1 and R2 would have the same voltage. So the voltage is the same across the circuit. So this is the exact opposite of what I just said about the uh, series circuit, okay? In series circuit, uh, the voltage is not the same, but in parallel circuit, the voltage is the same. However, the current is going to be divided. So, uh, you know, current not the same for the parallel circuit. Uh, the voltage is the same for parallel circuit. All right. And then uh, in order to calculate the equivalent uh, resistance, say you combine these two together, then 1 over R equivalent is going to be uh, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And then, uh, et cetera, you can actually create, um, you know, this equivalent circuit of one single uh, resistor in contrast to two resistor here. So, um, yes. All right. So, uh, in our board that we'll be working on is, um, sorry, this is in Thai, uh, but this read, uh, series circuit and, uh, this reads, uh, parallel circuit. So, uh, on top part, you're going to have the series circuit and on the bottom part, you're going to have the parallel circuit. So, um, on the first part, when you work on the series circuit, you're going to be connecting a battery. This is a sign of a battery. Um, of varying voltage so you're going to be changing the voltage um, across this point and this point and then you need to measure the current again current is measured through an ammeter connected in series with the entire thing so you need to remove the wire and then connect the ammeter in the middle and uh, then you measure the voltage of each different uh, part so you're gonna have r1 r2 r3 be sure to measure the voltage of each of them and uh, mark the reading so uh, on the second part, you'll be working on a parallel circuit. So you have this, and then you'll be connecting a battery uh, throughout uh, the circuit like this. However, this is not a completed circuit. So um, you need to measure the current that goes in. Again, in parallel circuit, the current is being divided. So you need to put uh, the, 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 the ammeter on each different part. Uh, if you're using the ammeter on this part, you can just connect a wire here to, 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 to make the current flow. And um, then you will you will have a different reading in uh, a meter here, in a meter here, then here, then here. But however, in parallel circuit, the voltage is the same. So you just connect the voltage once, and you can actually just get the same reading uh, on R, on R four, R five, and R six. Okay. So that concludes the parallel circuit. So uh, last part of this lab, uh, you're going to be working on measuring the resistance. So uh, basically, you will you will uh, directly connect uh, your ohm meter into R1, R2, and R3, R4, R5, and R6, and uh, and read the resistance directly, and uh, and then you'll be using this table to uh, to to read the the color scheme of the resistor. So, for example, uh, in this case, uh, this guy has green, blue, yellow, and then gold. So um, the first line, you just read the number. Green is 5. Second line, blue is 6. So we read 5, 6, and this is 4. So 5, 6, um, is that 4? Yes, 5, 6, 4. So 5, 6, 4 uh, is going to read how much is the multiplier. So, so, so 5, 6, 4. So basically, 
this is 5, 6 multiplied by 4 zeros. So that means that 5, 6 is being followed by 4 zeros behind it. So 5, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that reads 560 kilo ohms. Okay. Let me repeat. This reads 5, this reads 6, this reads 4. So the first two numbers are the first two digits, and uh, the third band will tell you how many zeros follow behind it. So in this case, it would be 5, 6, followed by 4, 0. So 5, 6, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So uh, this is 560 kilo ohm. Okay, so you can just directly read it. So rinse and repeat, do the same process on all the color that is written in the resistor. All right, okay, uh, that will be all, and please enjoy the lab. Thank you.